Hey everyone, it's Steven from Toastamac. Recently, I've been struggling to find a helpful topic to cover when I realize the one I've been neglecting this whole time is what I'm doing right now, special interest. So today, we will go over what special interests are and how they can possibly be used. One thing to note before we begin, there are those that would prefer to use different terminology for this, such as passions, intense interest, or specialized interest, as the phrase special interest could be seen as demeaning, a narrative that can cause non-autistic people to think negatively about these interests, when in truth, they can be very helpful. You can use whichever terminology you want, of course, just understand how they can be read, okay? Okay. Initially, some people may think that specialized interest could be the same as a hobby. That's not entirely true. A hobby is referred to something that is generally fun to do for people, something to pass the time. But if you're passionate about something, if this is your specialized interest, it's going to be a bit more involved, as you don't want to just engage in the activity, you want to give it 110%. Typically, this involves a desire to know everything about the subject, down to the most minute of details, as well as a fixation on this interest, dedicating so much time to this interest that you may often forget to eat or sleep. Ugh, I can't even begin to tell you how many times that's happened to me. The other thing about specialized interests that a lot of people tend to miss is that we don't always enjoy participating in them, yet we participate all the same. This might sound a little weird, but I don't always enjoy making this. There are times when I'm recording my lines, editing my videos, messing with the lights or the green screen, or having to deal with noises upstairs that can drive me absolutely crazy. I still work on this though, because at the end of the day, this is something I truly care about. These passions and interests can also do more than give us something to care about. It can also improve our self-esteem and sense of accomplishment. For example, whenever I've had a pretty lousy day at work, I go to play video games. It's something I like doing, it's something I'm passionate about, and it's something that makes me feel like, hey! I'm awesome! With my younger brother Thomas, he loves video games too, but he also enjoys music and playing around with different computer softwares. Thomas enjoys looking at the individual components that come together to make a piece of music, and with computer softwares, he runs Twitch live streams and delves into a bit of game design. No one ever said you have to have just one interest. Furthermore, partaking in these passions and interests often revolve around the use of repetitive actions, something that autistic people in general tend to enjoy. In addition, depending on the interest in question, they could also be used to improve physical health, problem-solving skills, and in some cases, be grown into something that could be shown on a more professional level. That's later on down the road, of course. No need to be in a rush. Right now, for the sake of wrapping up this video, let me give you some advice on how you can use specialized interest to help an autistic. For starters, give the autistic time to explore different possible interests. There is no designated point in our lives where we absolutely must have an interest. I mean, with me, I only picked up this video editing stuff about seven years ago and I only just got into voice acting this year. So whenever it comes, the important thing is that the interest is something that the autistic can truly care about, and preferably something that's not gonna make them intentionally hurt themselves. Once a potential interest has been found, then you'll want to do as much research on the matter as possible. I'm talking Google, videos, local news, whatever reliable source that you can get your hands on to better understand the interest in question. This will open multiple paths for you, but primarily, this will show the people around you that this interest matters to you too. 
which is crucial because autistic or not, whenever we find something that's really special to us, we want to share it with other people. And when we find other people with the same interest as us, that can mean everything. That being said, you could also look into nearby groups, get-togethers, and events involving this interest, allowing you to dive further deep into the interest and open the possibility to make new friends. Because odds are, if two or more people are interested in the same subject, their conversations will be more fluent and meaningful. Whereas if someone just says, hey, how's it going? How's the weather? Lastly, if the autistic is truly committed to the specialized interest, try to look into how this could potentially grow into the future, be it either family activities or maybe something that can grow into a career. And that we'll have to save for July 15th because we're out of time. Sorry. Regardless, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to share some of your specialized interest, let us know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear them. And on that note, it's time to end the video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoy what you see, consider liking and subscribing to Toastamac to stay up to date in our latest videos. Also, mark your calendars. On June 30th at noon, Mountain Time, we will be live right here on YouTube where I will be giving a mid-year review to show you what else I've been working on in 2023. So, thank you very much for watching and until the next video, see you later.